guys check this out we got the tires on the truck we got it all cleaned up i just wanted to kind of come out here tonight and show you i don't know just how good the truck looks i'm gonna make a whole video about how good my truck looks <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just joking as you can see in the thumbnail guys we've got another lightning let me zoom out for you check this thing out now i want to go ahead and tell you this thing is absolutely filthy right now andrew just drove it back what four hours or so about five yeah about five hours so this truck is going to be absolutely beautiful look look at this look at the paint now we do have a spot here we got to fix we're going to address that only and chip. yeah Bad no one, chip on the truck. only chip and what we're going to do is just kind of blend that in anyway you guys don't care about all that let's just step back and look at this thing for a second <laughs> look at the tires this setup right here should tell you that this truck is pretty serious. This isn't your run-of-the-mill Lightning with a set of drag radios on the back. We have a set of bias ply tires on the back of this truck. Look that at I that. Drove five, five that hours on. <laughs> yeah, that Andrew drove five hours on. We got a set of uh, one of these Nittos back here, yeah. and they're pretty much just dry rotted. But yeah, set of 18s right wrong. here to go with the truck. And yeah, I'm kind of jumping into this whole like little review or whatever you want to call it kind of differently because we've been out here looking at this thing and uh we're just really amazed at honestly how clean this truck is now it's going to take a wet sand and buff for sure but we're going to handle that you guys saw what we did with that lightning we're just as capable of making this one just as nice wet sand and buff. yeah we'll it's do terrible. a wet sand and buff and we're gonna like i said we're gonna do a blend job up here but let's open up the interior because this well, oh Jesus! Uh, yeah, we, can't, we can't talk about the light. What yeah, are we gonna do about hey, terrible. Show them the, the great backlight. We show look, them. Look, look, and y'all rag my light now, I, Andrew. I only had to so, like six hours. So, so time. Andrew stopped on the trip back <laughs> by AutoZone and had to get blue lights. He was like, "Look, he's like, <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Now. He said, I know it sounds crazy, but I really want some blue LEDs to go with the blue truck." I was like, "Andrew, don't do it." But as you guys can see, this has the Explorer, or I'm not even sure—is this the Explorer? Explorer? Okay. So this does have the Explorer center console and these seats are out of an Explorer too, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a very common modification for these I trucks. I prefer stock lightning interior. It's gonna get stock lightning interior put back in it more than likely, but. I like it guys, for now, I like it. it. If, if I would actually swap interiors with him if I didn't have to haul around kids. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of need the extra room. It's got navigator controls and all that. And Andrew, you said that the pedals uh, also yeah, move, got, so they're yeah, electric. It's got the buttons. It's oh, got yeah. electric pedals. Check this out. Uh, the it's all wired into the factory wire. It's all spliced into the factory wire harness. That's awesome. It's got a custom harness. All right, let's let the wife out, and uh, I tell you what, let's video the truck real quick starting up because whoa you guys remember how loud my truck used to be well, this one is just as loud or louder so let me go ahead and stand over here hey andrew you kind of pulled up there in the yard like that by the lights that thing is obnoxious just how much quieter it actually is. Old stock, baby. Yes, please. You don't notice how low it is until you see it rolling. Yeah. It's actually really low. Yeah. Does it look like that whenever I drive it? Yeah. Oh. All right, guys, so we got the truck moved, and uh, I wanted to show you where we kind of just started polishing a little bit over here. We're not done. Uh, I just wanted to kind of get a couple of the scratches out it's over here. It's going to clean up nice. It's going to clean up very, very nice. And so you I, can see. I did. I know it's missing the antenna because I took it off because uh, Put it back I, think on the I think it's still in my pocket. Hold on. <laughs> I'm riding around with no antenna because <laughs> it was a bullet antenna, <laughs> and I am not riding around with that on my so uh let's go ahead and get into the meat of this it's a lightning uh it's pretty it's going to be beautiful once we're done wet sanding and buffing and all that type stuff but that's not why you guys are here you want to know more about this truck 
So I tell you what, let's just go ahead and pop the hood. We'll pop the hood first, and then we'll tell you what all's been done to the truck, and I'll let Andrew do the little rundown. Dang my, don't check my LEDs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some custom LEDs, yeah, them, Andrew. Them for race wars. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just kind of pan around so you guys can see. Uh, we've got a uh, ice tank here. There we go. We got some light. Obviously, cold air kit. You got your regulator up here. I mean, for the most part, it looks eh, kind of stock, right? Nice fuel rails over here. But it's a two nine <laughs> Whipple. Right currently, it's on uh, fourteen pounds, fourteen and a half pounds, technically, but fourteen pounds. Uh, it's got a built transmission, F-250 drum, uh, race line clutches. I think the hard parts themselves are stock, but you don't tear them up anyway. Uh, it's got a built rear end. The spider gears are welded in it, but I'm not too happy. I've probably changed that back to a Posse. <clears throat> I'm not in them. I don't need another, <laughs> I don't need another yeah. race car. Yeah. But the, the motor is a Johnny Lightning Performance long block. Uh, stage three cams, ported heads, bigger valves. <clears throat> it, on E85, it made 708 to the tire. Yeah, and that's on 93, pretty, it made 580. And that's pretty conservative. According to the dyno sheets we have, we haven't. I don't know if those are corrected numbers or uncorrected numbers. It's got to go through an F250 transmission to make that power to get it out there. But guys, I rode in it earlier, and this thing is quick. And and the thing is that that really surprised me is it kind of hooks in the road um now we were on 93 tonight whenever i rode in it but um also we need to cover the gas tank too yeah so uh, the gas tank has been cut down uh it's cut down to like i think it's like 15 to 16 gallons right. uh, and they welded bungs in it to drain the e and 93 out to make it easier to swap but i am going to put a factory gas tank back in it i'm not I don't want to stop at the gas station every hour. That's <laughs> Try right. To go somewhere. This thing is massive. So this is going to be your lower pulley. And for anybody that maybe doesn't understand, I know a lot of you guys do. On your lower pulley, the bigger the pulley, the more boost. And uh, up top on your supercharger, the smaller the pulley, the more boost. So that's, a this, e, that's the E85. Yeah, this is the E85 or X85 really is what this thing's tuned on. But um, And like, like Andrew said, it's what, 21 pounds on that? So, guys, that's a lot. That's a lot of power. Uh, through an automatic it's and there's for sure. yeah and there's room to grow with this but when i went and got the truck it was on e whenever we did the test drive and i let him drive it because i didn't own it yet and i had some complications i had to go back to my bank and sort some stuff out and while i was doing that he swapped it back to 93 for me because it was a it was a four hour drive technically but we took it easy on the way back because we drove over four hours on mickey thompson pro brackets <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is crazy. I'm a bad influence on Andrew. Seriously. Uh, so how did this how did this work out? So we were we were in the I shop. Was looking at buying a lightning and selling my truck to pull my car. <laughs> Check I was like, this. well, I don't want to buy one unless it's got a built motor in it. Yeah. So literally this is how the conversation went, what, three nights ago? Two nights ago? Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Out in the shop, and Andrew's like, I'd like to have a lightning, you know, to pull my car around and this and that. Yeah, Thursday night to yeah. Saturday. So I was like, well, hell, I can find you a lightning. He was like, nah, I've already been looking. And I was like, well, I know I just saw some on Facebook Marketplace. So he come inside, we're chilling out, we're just sitting there. And I'm like, Andrew, check this out. He comes over, he looks at it, and he's like, I'll buy that if that's, like, legit. I'll buy that. I'll go get the money tomorrow. Well, what happened? I went and got the money the <laughs> next day. You went and got the money the next I day. I got off work at 3.30. Had to, my bank is, like, 45 minutes away. Had to make it there by 5.00. Came home, packed clothes, got my stuff together, took my truck to Georgia to grab my Altima, and uh, we went to Jacksonville last night, and we forgot it was the Gator Nationals, so it took us till 3 o'clock in the morning to find a hotel room. Yeah. We got to talking earlier, and I've had my hand in every vehicle that Andrew owned somehow or another, so this is why I say I'm a bad influence. So he's got my old Fox body, the black one. And then uh, we were coming back from the PFO meet one night, and Andrew's like, I need a truck. And I was like, why Why would you spend money on a truck no, when you could? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and right. I said, why would you spend money on a truck whenever you can buy another Fox body? Anyway, long story short. I wouldn't look. I was looking for trucks for yeah. months. I went and looked at four or five of them, drove several hours to go look at more than one, wouldn't buy them because they wasn't what I wanted. And I never looked for a Fox body because I knew 
I wanted a knot, and I knew if I went and got one, and then he found it, or I found it. Yeah. And he was like, "Go get it," and I yep. was like, "All right, then let's so go." He, so here we, we go. Left. The next morning. That was like a le- like probably like nine, ten o'clock, something mm-hmm. like that. And the next morning we left at five thirty. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, guys. I'm telling you. And then the the truck that he's got, I actually had that on video where we went to go get it from a friend of of ours, a mutual friend. So anyway, it's just it's crazy, guys. It, it's, it's in our blood for sure. And poor old Seth over here. He's a GM guy, so we're not gonna talk to him. But uh, <laughs> Seth has a pretty. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's okay. it's, a, it's a kind of a cool car. This is- Kind of a chunk so we're gonna let Seth show you his car. Let me find a good picture for you. You better find a, like a Photoshop picture. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. 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 Let's do a side. Oh, that's small. Oh. Only women uh-huh. take pictures in portrait. You have a landscape, an actual man picture of your car. Ooh, that's a. Uh... <laughs> it sits in the garage Andrew. more than anything. Andrew, tell him he can't take pictures like that. <laughs> Was he fussing at you for taking pictures in? He in told landscape? me I know how to take pictures Andrew earlier. Takes terrible pictures. So this is Seth's car. Beautiful car. We give him crap about it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Low mileage car. Uh, he's got tons of stuff planned. Some turbos. Yes, and Nikia played a hand in that as well. Yeah, because I guess of the I Fox. Kind of did. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Those <laughs> guys, listen. He's a bad influence. I am a bad influence. I, I push stuff because if I'm passionate about it, I want to. Like, I feel like I got to push it on everybody else. But you know, hey, we have fun with this hobby. So sometimes you just need a little extra push. Anyway. Back to the lightning real quick, like, so the plan is to hopefully pull Andrew's car to four takeover with the lightning. Mm-hmm. We're going to pull my car with my lightning. Now, Andrew's probably going to have to get an aluminum trailer. Uh, he's thinking anyway, so. I'll probably buy one just for, it's, the truck's got a stall converter in it, but it's like a 2400. You can't hardly tell it's got a stall in it until, until yeah. you flash it in the road. But just to be on the safe side, really just don't want to put a, wear, a lot of wear and tear on that motor. That's right. So he's look, probably going to look into aluminum trailer. I don't know. We'll see. We can always hook my trailer up and you can test yeah. it. But the plan is to pull his car to four takeover with this. And uh, I don't know, guys. This is just going to be awesome. We're going to have two Lightnings, four Fox bodies, a 65 Fastback now. So this, is, I'm telling you, the channel's growing. The, the cars are growing with us. Stick around, guys. We're going to have a lot of content with this truck right here. And it is going to be beautiful. I, just trust me. Trust me. You guys should know me by now and trust me enough. This truck's gonna be gorgeous by the time we're done with it. This is more like just a teaser because it's dark and you guys really can't see the truck. And I do that intentionally to y'all. That way, next time we'll get this thing out in the sunlight, hopefully we'll have it all buffed up, pretty and everything else. And I really can't wait to see it on the other wheels too. I think it's gonna look really, really good. So we'll get back up with you guys here pretty soon. We might play around with the draggy. Probably won't show you everything that it's got, but we might play around with the draggy in the road and see how quick this thing actually is. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video, and as always, thanks for watching.